What are you doing this Saturday? Uh, do you have any free time? I'd love to see you if you had time for me. It would be so nice. I don't have anything planned. I was going out with a friend, but she's canceled, so I'm free. What did you have in mind exactly? Something special? Come and meet me. I'm going to introduce you to someone special. <gasps> Who is it? Someone special? It's not like you to do this. Is this your girlfriend? I'm already over 35. Uh, don't you think it's time for me to meet someone special? Oh, Mom would be really happy if you met someone nice. She's been talking about it for a long time. She really thinks it's time for you to get married. Are you going to stay single forever? I certainly hope not. I think it would be a really good idea, too. I don't know what I've been waiting for. Maybe I'm too fussy with women. After a certain age, you just have to accept what you can get. No use in waiting forever. You'll just end up single. Now is the time to find a nice girl and settle down and get married. So who is this girl? How did you meet her? Is she a nice girl? She's nice. She's not as wealthy as us, but I don't think that matters. I like her for who she is. She's not from a rich family, but not too poor either. Just in the middle. Well, if you think she's a good girl, then I guess we should go through with it and see what happens. I'm sure Mom will be happy about it. I think she might be the perfect fit for me. We'll just have to see how it goes. Okay, I hope so too. I'll see you this Saturday to see what happens. I really hope it works out and I get married. It would be really nice for me. I agree. I think it would be really wonderful too. You'll have to start saving up for a wedding present. I'm hoping for something really nice. <laughs> really? I'll think of something small to give you. Maybe I'll buy you a coffee machine or something. A coffee machine? Is that it? I want something more than that. I'm really doing good here. What time is he coming over today? Do you remember? I forgot. I thought he would be here by now. He's coming over for dinner. I'm going to make something nice for us all to eat. You just relax and keep yourself busy until then. Do we need to go and do some shopping before then? I can help you with that if you want. No, we don't need to. I've got all the things here already. I just need to put them together into a meal. Don't you worry. You relax. I don't know why you're so concerned today. We are meeting this girl for the first time, so we need to make a good impression. I think we just need some nice food to eat. I was just worried we might not have anything nice here. I know that. I've already got some food ready. Just trust me, it's going to be nice and she'll appreciate it. I'm going to make her feel really happy and welcome here. I hope it can help with the situation. I've got some really nice steak here for us all to eat. Who doesn't like steak? Are you sure you've got enough? What if she really is hungry? I think maybe I should go to the shop and buy some other things. I'm really worried that we might run out of food and that would be a real disaster. No, it's fine. We've got loads of stuff in the fridge. If anyone gets hungry, then we can start to eat that stuff too. If you really want to make yourself useful, then stop complaining and go around the house and clean it. I want this place to be spotless in time for the guests. I don't want anything to be out of place. Okay, you've got a point. I'll get on with that. What happened today? What do you mean? What's the problem? It's mom. Don't you think she's being a little bit miserable? I know what you mean, actually. I was a little bit surprised by it, too. I can't say I didn't notice. Why was she being like that? And what was with that food? I didn't think it was very impressive at all. I don't think there was enough to eat, and it really wasn't of the best quality. I did offer to go out and buy more food, but she insisted that I didn't. She said that she had a lot of really nice stuff prepared. I didn't think the steak was that nice, and I didn't think Mom was very friendly. What on earth is wrong with her? She could have done better for this occasion. I don't know what she was playing at. Mom can be a bit like that. She sometimes isn't that friendly. Maybe it's a test to see how she reacts. She was like that with us when we were young, too. 
She was really a bit too strict at times and came across as not really caring. But we know that deep down she's really a lovely person. But why did she have to be like this today? And she kept going on and on. I thought she could have been a little bit nicer. I know. I don't think she meant it. Let's just hope we can move on and forget about this. Why did it have to be like this? I wish things had gone differently. I think I'll have to say sorry to my girlfriend. It must have been a bit of an awkward situation for her. She didn't look too bothered by it. Maybe we can just forget about it and put it in the past. If she does it again, then we might have to confront her. We can't have her being like this all the time. I agree. Let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Let's think positively. Hi there, how are you? Hello, so nice to hear from you. I really wasn't expecting this, so it's a nice surprise. Did you enjoy yourself last time we met? Did you get home safely? I really hope you had a nice time. Yeah, it was nice, but I felt like we didn't talk enough. There were a few things that I wanted to tell you that I didn't get a chance to mention. That's why I'm contacting you today. Well, that's nice of you. What is it you want to talk about? I just wanted to talk to you more. I felt there was more to say. I felt we could get to know each other better. Oh, that's so nice of you. You're such a nice girl. Beautiful appearance and nice personality, too. <laughs> You're so elegant and nice. It's really nice to talk to you again. Thanks. You compliment me too much. I didn't deserve such praise. When I came over to your house, I didn't bring anything with me. I felt a bit guilty, and your mother didn't seem to be that happy. <laughs> I hope it wasn't my fault. I hope I didn't annoy her by not bringing a bottle of wine or something. Do you think I should buy a present and send it to your mother? What do you think would be a nice present? She was unhappy? I didn't even notice myself. I, I think you might be reading into things too much. I don't think there's anything to worry about and don't think you need to buy a present. I think she was. She just didn't seem too happy. I, I think maybe I should do something to try and make up for it. Don't do anything. I'll speak to her, but I'm sure she was okay. You don't need to worry about it. I'll talk to her and see what she thinks. I'm sure it's nothing. Really? You think it's nothing? Oh, I'm not sure myself. I don't think she was too happy about anything. I'll get some flowers and some fruit and give them to her. That might cheer her up. I don't think you need to do anything. I'd like to buy something too. What does she like? Just give me an idea. Also, if I come over again, I can bring some things then. Well, she likes expensive things. <laughs> Anything luxurious or expensive, but you don't need to bother with that kind of stuff. Okay, I'll bear that in mind in the future. What do you think about a luxury cosmetic set or something like that? Do you think she would appreciate it? Well, I'm sure she would like that, but isn't that a little bit too much? You didn't do anything wrong, and I don't think she was angry about anything. But if you really want to do something nice, then I think that might be a good choice. I know she likes that kind of thing. Thanks for letting me know. I'll have a look around and get something for her. Even if she wasn't unhappy, why not buy her a nice present? It can't do any wrong, can it? It's always a good idea to treat people nicely, and, and a little too much is better than too little. <laughs> I think you have a good point here. Mom, do you know what you've caused her with your negative attitude? You've made her feel really uneasy. I knew it wouldn't go unnoticed. What's the problem? What did I do wrong this time? You made Holly feel really unhappy when she came over to visit. You were really not being nice that day and we all noticed. You made her feel really uncomfortable. Why did you have to be like that? Is this what she said to you? I don't think I was being unkind. I was acting normally, in my opinion. I don't know what all the fuss is about. She contacted me and told me she felt really unhappy about that day. She said that she knew you were upset and she felt that she was the cause. She wanted to buy you something to say sorry. I told her that she didn't do anything wrong and she didn't need to buy anything, but she insisted. I think it's really unfair on her. She's a nice girl. Well, if she wants to buy me a present, then go ahead and let her. Why do you have to be like this? 
Can't you be a little bit nicer for a change? I did nothing wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you've really made a bad situation here, and you should try to be nicer in the future. Don't let this happen again. If she's going to marry my son, then she needs to be able to put up with me. I am not going to bend over backwards for her. She has to put me first. I'm expecting her to buy me presents and be nice to me, so I think she's got the right idea. You really want her to buy you a lot of presents? I don't see why she should do that. It's normal. I am the mother-in-law, so she should be nice to me. I don't think people do that anymore. Young people have to be frugal these days just to survive. It's not the 1950s anymore. She's marrying into a wealthy family, so she better get used to it. If she doesn't like it, then I suggest we find a better girl. I'm actually hoping she'll buy me a few things. I need a new coat for one. Winter is coming and I'd love a luxurious and fashionable new coat to keep me warm in style. Wow, you've really thought about this, haven't you? You really think she's going to do that for you? I certainly hope she does. If she marries my son, then my son won't have as much time and money to spend on me. I need these things as compensation. You children need to look after me as I get older. Don't think you can get away from that. It might not be the 1950s, but you still need to respect your elders. I didn't realize you were such a money-grabbing person. You're so materialistic. I am not materialistic. I'm realistic. Life isn't cheap. Money doesn't grow on trees. I'll think of a few more things I want as presents in the future. The list is going to get bigger. Oh my goodness. I don't know why you're so surprised by this. I thought you had the maturity to understand how the world works. We're all meeting again tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, I remember. I'm currently buying some new clothes for the event. I want to look nice tomorrow, so I thought I'd better get something new. It seems like you know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to make a big effort. I think it's needed. How are you? Are you okay with everything? Nothing on your mind right now? No, uh, what do you mean? I just thought you might have some things you wanted to tell me. If there is nothing, then it doesn't matter. It was just a thought. I just hope that things go well for all those involved. We've had a few incidents as of late, and I hope nothing funny happens this time. I think everything will be fine this time. I think we're all going to get along. I'm hoping for it to all go very smoothly with no problems. Her parents are really nice, so I don't expect any issues to arise. And if they do, then I'm sure we'll be able to get through them. We're good with people after all. I guess you're right, and I really hope things do go well. I know my future wife is really looking forward to this. It's going to be nice for us to all get together. Oh, I can't wait for you two to get married and for us all to become one big family. That's going to be really nice. She's a nice girl, and I know I'll get along with her well. I'm sure you're going to have a nice life together. I'm also happy to know that you two are getting along well. It's going to be great. Where are you? I contacted the hospital and they said you were in today and then left work. You haven't come home yet. What's going on? Please get in touch with me as soon as you can. I really wish you'd pick up the phone. I've tried contacting you a few times already, but no response. We're all starting to get a bit worried about you. It's not like you to not come home like this. Please let us know where you are as soon as possible. Mom is worried? Why is she worried about me? I don't think that she needs to worry about where I am or what I'm doing. I'm a big boy now. I can look after myself. Maybe you should just mind your own business and not think about me too much. There is no need for you to be like that. We just want to know where you are, that's all. There's no need to speak like that. At the very least, could you just let us know where you are? It's only natural for us to want to know. I'm on my own having a drink. Just let me be. Are you on your own? Are you upset about something? You can tell me if you are. I've got nothing to talk about right now. I just want to be left alone to have a little drink. 
I need some time on my own to think things over. Don't worry about me. Sometimes mom does things that makes me really embarrassed. Why does she have to do that? Whenever we have a social event, she always has to be such a pain. I wish she'd just be more friendly to everyone. She was talking a lot about money and buying a house. It's a lot of pressure to put on my future wife and her family, and it's too early for that. I think we should just really get to know each other first before starting to talk about those things. I don't think she needs to be too involved in this. When I get married, we'll find somewhere to live that we're happy with. There's no need for mom to be poking her nose into everything. Just leave us be. Well, I think mom is just trying to protect you. She wants the best for you. You're her precious son, and it's only natural she'll be protective of you. She's trying to protect me? Has it crossed her mind that I don't need her help? I know she wants what's good for me, but these days she's just become more and more overbearing. It really makes me mad, and it's getting worse all the time. I wish she would just back off and leave me to live my life. I can understand your feelings. Maybe I should talk to her and see what she says. I might be able to help the situation. Don't drink too much. You don't want to get into any trouble or damage your health. Also, don't come back home angry. We don't want any more trouble. I'll talk to you later. I'll try my best not to drink too much. Mom, why do you have to be like this? Don't you think you're going a little bit too far? What do you mean? What's the issue here? During our meeting, don't you think you were a little bit too much? You're alienating people with your behavior. I wish you'd just be more accommodating to people. What did I do wrong? My son is going to get married, so I don't want him to make a bad decision. There's no harm in mother standing over his shoulder watching him. It's only natural. What about asking for presents? What's wrong with asking for presents? I expect to be treated well. I'm his mother. It's what I deserve. Don't you think you've been asking for too much? The things you want are really expensive. I don't think other people should have to buy those things for you. Why can't you just do it yourself? Why does everything have to be luxurious and expensive? I don't know what the problem is. It's not that much money. You can afford these things and I deserve them. I raised my son from a young age and without me, she wouldn't be marrying such a fine young man. She owes me some presents for this alone. Then you have to think about the correct way of treating your parents. I think it's only right they buy me a few things. Can't you just look after yourself? You've got enough money. I don't think you need any help. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? I spent it all raising my children. I don't even have enough for a comfortable retirement and you're complaining because I asked for some gifts. You're asking for too much. A few small things here and there might be a good idea, but you want a huge list of luxury items. We don't have that much money. Not enough to keep you living a life of luxury. I think I'm being really fair about what I ask for. I'm not asking for too much. My son is heading for a really great career, and I know he's going to make a lot of money. You can buy me some nice things, and then you'll easily be able to make it back in the future. Are you aware that he's really stressed right now because of you? It's really affecting him and the way he sees this marriage. If you keep going on like this, then who knows what will happen. I don't think that's bad. It's really not that stressful. He needs to grow up a little bit. That girl is going to be a really nice wife for my son, but if she joins our family, then she needs to play by my rules. I think you're asking for trouble if you keep going on like this. Why should they play by your rules? They can do whatever they want to do. Don't put all this pressure on them, otherwise you might end up with an unhappy ending. My son is really nice boy and she needs to behave well. Just stop and think for a minute. Do you think she's still going to want to get married if you keep going on like this? Putting all this pressure on her and not being nice to her? Do you really think it's a good idea? What if she changes her mind about the whole thing and then your own son doesn't get married? Oh, I don't think it's going to come to that. I'm sure the wedding will still go ahead. I'm not being hard on them. I'm just asking for them to do the right thing. I can 
couldn't believe that you can't see this from their perspective. I wish you'd think about others for once. I'm sorry. I try to change mom's mind, but it seems like I'm failing. It's no use. She's set in her ways and she won't change her mind. I didn't expect her to do so. I know what she's like and she's just getting worse and worse. She thinks that I owe everything to her and I don't. I wish she'd just let me get on with my life. I really worried that this wedding won't happen. It's just too much. Who would want to marry a man with a mom like that? Does mom really not see what's going to happen? It's hurting me as well. I agree with you, but there's no convincing her. She's really set in her ways. I really like your girlfriend, and I really hope she becomes your wife. I can't accept the way mom keeps going on like this, but I don't know what we can do. I think I need to be more forceful with her. I really need to get it through to her that unless she changes, this marriage might not go ahead. Mom, we need to talk about this, all of us together. Why do you keep going on like this? Why are you being like this? You need to change. Why do you keep going on like this? I'm not doing anything wrong. You keep coming back to me demanding that I change when I haven't done anything wrong in the first place. Mom, please, you know what you're doing and you know it can't go on like this. Why are you putting so much weight on my shoulders? I can't take it anymore. I am not putting weight on your shoulders. Stop being so pathetic. I raised you from a young age to be tough and capable boy, and now it's your time to prove that you're a man. I'm only asking for what I deserve. I don't think it's what you deserve. I think you're being unreasonable. I'm doing okay in life, but it's not all down to you. I worked hard for myself. I don't owe you as much as you think. You looked after me when I was a child, but that's what you're supposed to do. You can't make unreasonable demands now just because of that. Since I've become an adult, I've never asked money from you and I've always paid my own way. Why should I have to give you some money? I got where I am in life because of my own effort, not just you. I don't owe you a thing. Why are you trying to get in the way of my life now? Why can't you just let me go and be happy? I think you should be a bit more careful when talking to your mother. You shouldn't be this blunt. If I didn't raise you well as a child, then what would you be doing now? Would you have such a good job and such a nice life? You really owe a lot to me, and it's only natural that you pay me back one way or another. Would you be so intelligent if I wasn't such a good mother? I'm really not sure. So you gave birth to me and raised me as a child, and now you want all this money from me? Is that why I was born? You don't even respect my choice of wife. You've been really unpleasant to her, and you haven't treated her well. How can I get married in this kind of situation? You are really ruining it. It's not you that's getting married, it's me, so I don't know why you have concern over the matter. I don't think she wants to even get married to me anymore. I think you've scared her off. Oh, what are you talking about? It's not that bad. Why can't you manage a bit of stress from your mother? I don't think she would cancel the whole thing now. You've been so unpleasant to her that I think she's having second thoughts. Last time we all met together, I could see on her face that she was really unhappy about the whole thing. Why did you have to be like that in front of her parents? It's really not a nice way to treat someone. I was just saying what needed to be said. I didn't do anything wrong. I expect to be treated well if she's going to marry into her family. But why do you need all those presents that you want? Buy them yourself. Why should I be paying for your luxury lifestyle? Then you started talking about buying a watch and all of that stuff. It's really too much. You don't deserve all of that stuff. I think I deserve a nice watch, don't you agree? I've always wanted one and I think it would be really nice present for me. I'd also like a nice case to go with it. I think that's only fair. But these watches are really expensive. It's too much for us to buy for you. You should buy it yourself if you really want one. 
You can afford it. You've got plenty of money, and so does your future wife. Don't be so cruel. We don't have enough money to buy you lots of presents. Why can't you understand this? Why does my own mom have to cause so many problems? Why are you doing this? Mom, can you please think about other people's perspectives, please? If this wedding falls through, then I don't think I'll ever be talking to you again. It'll be the end of us. I can't have you ruining my life like this. I think you need to apologize to my wife to be as soon as possible and try to make up for all the trouble that you've caused. Her parents were really unhappy too. Maybe you could say sorry to them too? Why should I say sorry? I haven't done anything wrong. I've been perfectly reasonable from day one, and you should realize this. I am not saying sorry, and that's the end of it. Don't ask me again. You have made so many mistakes, it's difficult to keep track of. Say sorry at once. No, I am not doing it. I am not going to be ordered around by you, so please, get used to it. Mom! It seems it's too hard for Mom to see what she's done wrong and say sorry. It's just part of her personality, and I don't think we're going to change that. I wish we could, but I don't think it's possible. Maybe we can come to some kind of compromise here. Maybe I could buy some things for her. Would that make the situation better? In return, Mom can stop asking you for so many things. I can do it instead. You can buy me some things if you want, but I still think your brother needs to be nicer to me. He's got a bright future ahead of him, so there's really no excuse. I think in the future, when he earns more money, he should buy me something even nicer, like a car or something. If you don't meet my demands, then I won't be giving my approval to this marriage. I can't accept it if you're going to treat me so badly. If you're going to try and get in the way of our marriage, then we'll just have to do it without you. I like my girl so much, and I'm not letting you get in the way of our life. I don't care if she doesn't come from a rich family and they can't afford to buy you gifts. I'm happy with her, and that's all that matters. I've tried so much with you, but you're really leaving me with no choice. You're just refusing to see the world from anyone else's point of view, and I've tried so hard to change your mind. If you're not going to change your ways, then I'll have no choice but to abandon you and go off with my wife. She's more important than you, and nothing is going to change that. If that happens, then you'll get nothing in the future. No presents and no family. It'll just be you all on your own. How could my own son betray me like this? How could you abandon me in favor of that girl? Why do you do this? Don't you love me or care about me at all? What did I do to deserve this? I've looked after you from a young age, and now you're going to cast me to one side? I wish that the two of you would stop this and come to some kind of a compromise. It doesn't have to be like this. How are you? Are you okay? I'm okay, thanks. Nice to hear from you. I just wanted to tell you that I'm really sorry for what happened recently. I know it might be a bit too much for you, so I want to say sorry again. We've had a big argument with my mom about it. We were really not happy either. We tried over and over again to get her to see what she'd done wrong, but in the end, it was no use. We've decided that the best thing is for us to just cut contact with her and go our own way. We can't have her ruining her lives like that. There needs to be boundaries and she shouldn't cross them. It hurt you and it hurts us too and we want you to know that we're on your side. I want to tell you how sorry I am and I'm hoping that it might make you feel better. I hope we can move forward from this day onwards. Your brother has also been contacting me to tell me that he's sorry about the whole thing. It's nice to know that you care about me. I think I'm okay about it, but my mother and father are a bit upset. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope it's not too bad for them. Your brother came over yesterday and said sorry to us all. It was a nice gesture for him to make. He kept telling me over and over that he was really sorry and he didn't want his mother to come between us. I think he has a good point. Why should we let her get in the way? It seems like a good way to think about this. Please don't break up with my brother over this. Don't let my mom get in the way of your happiness. 
You only live once and you should do what is right for you. Don't let anyone change that. My mom is set in her ways and there is not a lot we can do about that. I hope you can accept our apology and put this whole sorry affair behind us. I don't know what I want to do now. It's really hard for me. I want to move on, but I don't know if I can. I hope you can understand. We've been through a lot recently, and I don't know what I want to do moving forward. You'll have to give me some time. I hope you can accept this. A storm came to my house, and everyone was arguing. My mom, myself, and my brother were all shouting and screaming. It was quite a scene. My brother wanted my mom to say sorry, but she wouldn't. Seems like the situation is only going to get worse. It seems that my brother is not going to get married anymore, and it's all my mom's fault. I can really understand his anger and frustration. I know I would feel the same if I was in his shoes. If only my mother could have changed her mind and said sorry. This whole terrible situation could have been avoided. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.